Activity 7. That seems logical. In the book, we learn the difference between AND, OR, XOR, and NOT. Let's create a program to demonstrate how the OR logic operation works. First, let's create a new program named OR logic. In this program, we'll want to constantly monitor two sensors and to move our robot forward only if conditions are true on both sensors. If the color sensor sees black or it senses something 5 centimeters or less in front of it, it will stop. Sometimes you can't carry your computer with you to get readings like we did in Activity 4, so you can use the built-in Brick apps to test these values. Navigate to the Brick apps tab and select Port View. Select Port 3 and do a test reading for a white piece of paper. Record the reading on a note. Then test the reading you get for a black piece of tape. Record that number as well. Find the midpoint value between those two numbers and record that as your threshold value for use later. In order to constantly monitor these sensors, we'll use a loop block from the Flow Control tab and set it to Logic. Because we want our robot to begin moving forward, let's add in a Move Steering block from the Action tab. Set the motor to ON and the power to 20. Next, let's test the value of one of the sensors. From the Sensor tab, drag a color sensor block after the Move Steering block. Set the block to measure reflected light intensity. From the Data Operations tab, we need to bring in a Compare block. Change the comparison type to less than and change the B value to the threshold value you wrote down earlier. Our value is 45. We want to compare the reading from the color sensor and see if it is less than our threshold value. We do that by dragging a data wire from the output of our color sensor into the input of the A input of our compare block. If the number coming out of the sensor is lower, then the block output becomes true. Next, we need to check the ultrasonic sensor, so from the Sensor tab, drag up the ultrasonic sensor block. Be careful not to grab the infrared sensor because they look a lot alike. Make sure that it is set to measure distance in centimeters. Put another compare block after the ultrasonic sensor, set it to comparison type of less than, and change the B value to 5. Now drag the data wire from the output of the ultrasonic sensor to the A input of the compare block. If an object is less than 5 centimeters away from the sensor, it will output a true value. Now we just need to use a logic operations block to check whether the color sensor or the ultrasonic sensor both have values that are true. After you drag the logic operations block into your program, change the operation type to OR. Drag the data wire out of the first compare block and plug it into the A input of the logic operations block. Now, drag the data wire out of the second compare block and plug it into the B input of the logic operations block. The logic operations block will then compare the A input and the B input. Drag the data wire from under the equal sign and hook it into the input of the loop logic we set up earlier. If A or B are true, it will output true from under the equal sign, ending the loop and stopping the robot. Add a motor block to stop your robot. Save your work. Download your program to the EV3 and test it on your own. Pause the video while you test this. Now, let's test the AND logic idea. First, copy the contents of our last program. Create a new program called AND logic and paste this information into it. If we change this to AND logic, the robot will now stop if the robot hits a black line AND if it sees something 5 centimeters in front of it. Switch the logic type from OR to AND and save your work. Download the program to your EV3 and test it to see the difference. What happens if you try this with XOR logic? What happens if you try this with NOT? Review the truth tables in your book and try to predict what you will experience when you change these settings.